Good morning, this is Dr. Bill White again, and I would like to talk to you. I'm with the American Orthodontic Society, by the way, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the strange things that impacted cuspids will do. And uh, I'll just go right straight into this case. There's no need to uh, talk, say anything else, but uh, this young man came in, he had a problem with his teeth, and his upper lateral on the uh, left side was protruding out, and he had a gap there, and I thought, well, it's just a simple impaction, and uh, we'll have to spread that out and bring the cuspid down into place. But I was quite mistaken about the case, and so I took uh, uh, the records and everything, and <clears throat> went back and I could see that this cuspid was coming in right over on the uh, it was actually on the left side of the mouth and uh, it's sitting right down in here and it looks like it is eaten about two thirds or three fourths of the root of the of the central way, and the central was still vital. It was colored just like the other tooth, and the lateral of the cuspid had gone over the, I mean, uh, the lateral was on the lingual side of the cuspid, and it made the lateral stick out over on this side, and it, at one time, it wasn't completely resorbed away, but I think when we got back from the surgeon, I think it had uh, either, there was very little of it there, but there's, uh, you can see in just a minute. All right, <clears throat> this is after the young man came back from the old surgeon, and you can see there's hardly any tip to the root of the lateral, so it had probably a third of its root resorbed or maybe more. Now this part right in here, uh, there was just very little. And this was in the ba days when we did not have brackets. I couldn't glue a bracket on these teeth. I had to put a band on that tooth. And man, that was <laughs> a touchy because I knew the tooth was just barely hanging on there. But it stayed and it was vital. And uh, we were able to hold that tooth in place. And went ahead with the orthodontics and moved the center of the tooth around. You can uh, see here. And here the uh, cuspid is. And you see this follicular, uh, the follicles way down like this around the tooth. And if left in there, this would have continued to grow. And it had a big cyst up here in this area. And probably the cuspid would have been lost. I mean, the central would have been lost. Uh, so this was 1973, and we'll go on here and show you. Here's another view of the tooth, and you get a better view of this f follicular development around the tooth and was absorbing the roots. Now, normally, a permanent tooth in the upper, the impacted tooth, would grow up against permanent teeth and wouldn't resorb them. But in this case, it did. So this is a strange thing. I had not had a crown like this go in and absorb the roots of the teeth around it like this one uh, did. So anyway, the, we had it out and got the tooth, and then I had to slide the teeth around, but here's the models when we started. See, he's got a, a slight class two problem with some depth of bite, and I had to intrude the tooth a little bit to get this done, and I had, it was just, uh, I thought at any time this tooth would go bad, and I told the, well, parents, I mean, he could lose it. And uh, anyway, we went ahead with it, and this is the cephalometric, and you can kind of see it up here. And the panorex and cephalometric are in pretty bad uh, shape. Of course, they're um, 1973, and that's 
probably 40 years old, uh, but I took these pictures uh, years ago in here. Uh, all right, now we had to bring these teeth forward. I wanted to bring it, and you can see the center of the tooth is like that now. And you can see as we started, we brought these teeth over a little bit, and you'll see this kind of taper off like that, the center of the teeth. And so we got the space closed, though. We didn't have tads or all this stuff. And so we pulled over here and brought these teeth forward. And we had also come off the uh, lower arch and try to drag this forward or something like a class 3 uh, elastic. So let's just look at it here. It's a short video and won't take us but just a few minutes to do this. And this is the tooth where I just kind of drew where I thought it had gone. And uh, you see this tooth is sticking way out here. So it started off with this tooth being lingual to the cuspid root up there and but when the, they finished getting this tooth out there was uh, about a third of the root of this uh, lateral gone and probably two-thirds to three-fourths of this uh, central there and then I had to intrude this see it you've got the class two situation with a uh, deep bite. I mean, these teeth are hanging down to four. So I had to go up with these teeth and it, and I moved it very slowly and lowered the lower teeth. Uh, we opened the bite and you can see. And I had to do these movements with a tooth with only not more than a third, look less than a third of it. And it, the tooth was live and I had to band them to do this so it uh, ended up being a, a pretty touchy case doing it I, I told the parents I mean I showed it to them I said we're going to try to straighten these up with this tooth it may go I wasn't sure about the root resorption me moving it where it would lose the rest of it but luckily it didn't it stayed with it and we were able to go ahead. You can see where it is. And the, there's some fluorosis in this. But the uh, color of this tooth and this one were virtually the same around here. So I knew the tooth was vital. And we went ahead and started moving it. But very, very gently. And I had to get the blue and band on the tooth. And, and that was a tedious job that you couldn't push on it very much. And so we banded the teeth and got it, uh, banded everything. And we went on with the orthodontics and taking the band off was a, a touchy job also. I thought, man, if I slip, this thing will come out, you know. And so we went ahead and straightened it up and pulled it to one side. Now I showed you the palette while ago was going up here. Now it turns and goes this way. So we have these teeth up here and this will come out in the center of a lower anterior. But we closed the space and it went along pretty good. And here on the bottom, you can see the bottom teeth were lined up pretty good. And we were able to get the bite open. You see it's open right in here good. But this tooth was still holding on, and it's in, this space is empty up above. And the old surgeon told me, uh, I, I thought when I sent the uh, guy into the old surgeon, um, it looked like this crown was sitting on the stump of this root. And after he did it, he told me it was. It was saying the crown was just sitting on the stump of that central right here. And the crown was just sitting right on top of it with some space in between where this follicle was around the crown, you see. 
and the crown was inside, so there's a little space between the crown and the root of the central, but the follicle, the absorption, took place in the follicular area. Now that, I don't know how to explain that, uh, but that happens. And here we are, and you see we're off-center uh, right here. We're pulling this over. It should be over in this area. And we line it up and go ahead and with the regular orthodontics. And we've opened the bite. You remember when we started out, these teeth were down here, something like that. Uh, and we opened the bite. And how we got to this tooth, I didn't come, I hadn't come up with this intruding arch wire at that time, or we could right soon after there. Anyway, we've opened the bite, we leveled the thing all out, and we close that space, and the center of the upper, you can see, is going around like this. Whereas, and we got, we got this closed before we uh, took this off, so it's probably twisted a little bit more than that. And let's see, is that this is the last picture I've got on the case? But it was such an interesting thing. The regular orthodontics, we went ahead and did that. But uh, this is. Uh, the last picture I've got on the case, but we did finish it and got those spaces closed. And I watched this young man for years afterward, and this tooth was still vital and still in there. I told him, I said, don't you go out and get a fight with anybody else. If they hit you in the mouth, you will, they'll knock that tooth out just really quick. I mean, and so I told him to be careful with it. And I'm I'm not sure. I think if I were to do this again, I would try to come back in under here and put a three to three uh, deal. You'd have to attach it to the lateral somewhere in there and bond these teeth together so that it would last longer if he took care of it good. So I hope you get something out of this uh, video that permanent teeth can absorb the roots of other permanent teeth. Now, they wouldn't eat the enamel away. They can't do that, but they can eat the root structure away or part of the root structure on a lot of teeth that we have, and you just don't notice how much they do. But if they plow into it like this cuspid was, uh, they can actually uh, destroy the root of another permanent tooth. In this case, they uh, did, but we were able to go along and keep it, and it stopped once we got this cuspid out. So then I had to use the bicuspid as a cuspid to get it. But you see this case is kind of lopsided in here. We were bringing this forward, and so it's a little bit up ahead of that and these go across and this was the cuspid but it's not straight across the whole part of this we moved nowadays if i had been in there i could have put a tad in in this side no i wouldn't I'd put the tad up here on this lateral and then pull everything from the back toward that, and then you'd bring the upper wisdom tooth into that uh, position. So I hope you get something from this. Uh, it's the only tooth uh, of all the cases I remember uh, that just obviously the crown and that follicle around it absorbed the roots of these permanent teeth, almost like uh, resorbing the roots of deciduous tea. So I'll say goodbye and hope you uh, look at this and look at our other cases in there and join our group and subscribe to it. So thank you a lot for watching and I hope everything's fine. Bye-bye.